Okay, let's talk about the second paragraph for 53-54. F1, F2, where x1 less than 0 and x2 greater than 0, be the foci of given ellipse. A parabola having vertex at origin and focus at F2 intersects the ellipse at M and N in first and fourth quadrant respectively. Two questions are given based on the same. So, let us start with the geometry part. One ellipse is given as x square by 9 plus y square by 8 equals 1. One parabola is given which we have to trace based on the fact that the foci of the parabola is same as f2. f1 and f2 can be written as plus minus 1 comma 0 because plus minus c comma 0 that is plus minus 9 minus 8 from the equation of ellipse right. So, that gives me plus minus 1 comma 0. So, this is say focus f2 and here we have f1. Now, once we got f1, f2, we can write the equation for parabola now. It is y square equals 4x. When we have the equation of parabola, we can find the points of intersection m and n solving ellipse and parabola, we get m n as 3 by 2 plus minus root 6, right. We get these two points. Now, let us talk about the two questions. The first one, the ortho center of triangle F 1 m n, that is we are talking about the ortho center of the triangle formed by these three points, right. Clearly, from this vertex, this is the altitude. From this vertex, we can say altitude like this. From vertex m, we can write the equation of altitude. Equation of altitude from m in triangle, we are dealing f1 mn. Right, equation of altitude from n, we can find this one as y minus root 6 equals the slope of f n, first we can find the slope of f 1 n and then we can obtain the slope of m, say this point as t. So, this comes as 3 by 2 plus 1 that is 5 by 2 root 6 x minus 3 by 2. This is clear, we can get the equation, ok. Substituting y equals 0 in order to get the ortho center, we write on substituting y equals 0, we get x as minus 12 by 5 plus 3 by 2. So, we can write here the ortho center obtained as minus 9 by 10 comma 0. So, from the given four options, we can clearly see option A is the correct one. Next, if the tangents to the ellipse at M and N meet at R and normal to the parabola at M meets the x axis at Q, tangents to ellipse at M and N clearly being symmetry, we can say that these are intersecting on the x axis at point R. So, it is sufficient to find just one tangent in order to get the point M. Tangent to ellipse at M. Equation of ellipse that is x square by 9 plus y square by 8 equals 1. From there we have 3 by 2 x upon 9 plus root 6 y upon 8 equals 1. Substituting here y equals 0, we get x equals 6. So, the point r is obtained as 
6 comma 0 right so from here we have point r as 6 comma 0 next normal at point m to the parabola normal at m to the parabola can be written as y minus root 6 equals minus root 6 by 2 x minus 3 by 2. From here, we can get the point q as simply substitute y equals 0 that gives you minus root 6 cancelled 2 plus 3 by 2 giving me 7 by 2 comma 0 as the point for q. Now, we have obtained all the points simply we have to find the area of the triangle mqr then the area of the quadrilateral a f1 n f2 meaning just find the area of one of the two triangles and double it. So, in order to get the required ratio it is 5 is to 8 or simply 5 by 8. So, option C is correct for question number 54 while A is correct for 53. Right. So, in this question, this was question number 54 that is last question of JE advanced 2016. This is all for today. Thank you.